Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here today with the Stormy Skies pack with Rain as the leader and her mate Zephyr and their three remaining puppies trying to accomplish the feat of helping Rain's third litter survive to the summer hunting grounds and we have already lost Tempest so the very first born baby has already been lost. Oh my goodness I hope I can hear I hope I can hear like all of the predators in time and we have been having a very hard time being able to keep everybody protected and fed. I really hope Zephyr, he went and he got a little bit of food. We're almost to the food, ladies. We're almost to the food. Come on, babies. Come on. It is just so chaotic because there's so many prop predators. As part of this ancestor challenge, we had to go to the furthest den, which is over here. That's the Aspen Heights den. And we had to go on the hardest difficulty which is the bring it on difficulty, which we have never raised our puppies on before. And we are trying very, very hard. Oh, okay, I hear the elk. All right, we're almost there, little ones. We're almost there. How much longer can you guys endure? Oh my gosh, Aqua really needs some food. Aqua and Autumn really need some food. Oh, am I close enough? I think I'm close enough to go and risk getting some food. So I hope we got past the point where all the coyote were going to be. So I'm gonna run down here. Zephyr, hurry! Zephyr! Okay, go fast! Go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast! Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna turn around, get to the puppies, that's probably all we need for now. Alright, come on. Come on, okay, he's got Autumn. Oh my goodness, who needs food this very second? Oh my gosh, and Aqua? Food. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> you guys, this is so hard! This is so hard to make sure that they're all fed enough on Bring It On! Oh, thank goodness, so Zephyr is getting some food for them now. So between both of us, we should be able to keep them fed. But one of the other challenges is just the fact that, like, there's so many predators. I just don't know what to do about all the predators. They come every two seconds, it seems. And there's so many coyote. There's so, so many coyote coming all the time. All right, there's the puppies. Can I chase? Oh, boy. All right, now here's the decision. Which way do we go? Do we come down here or do we go over here? I think we may have killed some elk over here at some point. So do we go across the big giant gap of old oxbow? Or do we, we're gonna, let's, let's curve along the river first. So that's gonna be our first goal is to curve along the river. And maybe since the elk are right here, if I can loop around, oh, I really hope this is the right choice. And spook an elk towards, come on, go towards, go towards, go towards this way nope that's not gonna work okay we're not gonna risk that i'm too worried about like the babies being eaten by all of the different animals so we're just gonna work our way towards the summer hunting ground from over here so phew. all right good job okay there's aqua rainbow autumn zephyr is just kind of we're, ugh, the elk are so close and yet they're so far away I don't think we can risk hunting them, especially when there's so many, like, right here. So let's just head for this elk, and then we'll see if we can pick up the scent of anything that we may have killed over at the old den site, which I kind of think of as Bear Biter Mountain, or like Bear Biter Hill over there. Or maybe we'll go along that direction over there and cross our fingers that we will be able... Come on, everybody. And cross our fingers that we'll be able to hunt something over kind of by the sandbar crossing area. I just, I don't know which one to pick. I think we should go ahead and we should try to make our way across over to the Canyon Cliffs Saddle Meadows area because I'm pretty sure we took some elk out over there when we were hunting. And the babies are making their way towards us. Zephyr, you're doing a really great job. Oh, if we thought things were tense before, they're just gonna get more and more tense. And it seems like the coyotes really attack when we're closer to the den when we're back here at the Aspen Heights. So we'll have to remember that. Coyote attacks seem to mostly happen when you're near the den. And then after you get over here, they lighten up a little bit. So, all right, come on puppies. Good job, Zephyr. He managed to do a two for one, pushing Aqua towards us too. All right, we're almost to the elk. Oh, perfect. So we are at this elk, which we can use for food. So let's feed the puppies. All right, ladies. And then things might get a little bit tense while we try to walk you guys. All right, I picked up Rainbow by accident. All right, Rainbow, come here. This is our food. This is what we eat. Unlike your your older sister, Misty, from last litter, you don't seem to be absolutely terrified of the food. That was really funny when we put Misty down and she just, like, ran for it. She didn't want to have anything to do with the elk carcass. All right, and Rainbow's trying to play. Rainbow, why are you so sweet? Why are you such a sweet baby? 
All right, the puppies already need fed again. So let's go ahead, top them off again. There you go, Aqua. And here you go, Rainbow. Just because we're gonna be leaving this elk pretty soon, so I want you all in top form. And then let's go ahead and finish eating it. Come on. All right, a little bit more food. There we go. All right, can I sense anything? Oh, there's something way over there in the distance. Okay, let's start moving this way. And we wanna really try to avo avoid the old oxbow as much as we can. So let's head strong against the river. Yeah, let's go this way. All right, we're gonna go directly south for a little while. We have to avoid old oxbow. It has a lot of glitches with the puppies just freaking out. So we'll kind of head towards this elk perhaps. Unless that's just a little too much. Oh gosh, I forgot how slow puppies are. I forgot how absolutely slow they are. But every time we try to take the risk of manually moving them, like stamina goes down and then we have to worry. Oh, okay, so there definitely is food way over there. But we need to avoid the old oxbow area because the puppies will just totally freak out. Oh my gosh, they're just not gonna be able to move fast enough. We're gonna have to just make some hard decisions. All right, Rainbow, come here. I'm gonna try manually moving them just a little bit. All right, there we go. To half strength, and then I'm gonna sit down. All right, her siblings are coming. I think that's just how we're gonna have to play it, is just run between the puppies. All right, is he bringing Aqua? Yep. And then we'll get him to bring Aqua to us. I think if we go slow and steady, we'll, we'll just run out of food. It's just, we can't do it that way anymore. All right, let's go this way. Where's the food over here? Right there, okay, so there's food right there. I can probably get some for the puppies. Zephyr is feeding Autumn right now. All right, and he's off to get more food. So let's go ahead. We'll stop for just a second to feed all of them. All right, there you go, ladies. Top off all the way, come here, Autumn. Top you off all the way to make sure you guys have as much food in your tummies as possible. There we go. There we go, that should be enough for Rainbow. And then, okay, the elk isn't too far away, but he is kind of far. All right, Zephyr. Oh, I really hope nothing comes while we're trying to fill up on food. Oh, I really hope nothing comes while we're trying to fill up on food. <laughs> Poor Tempest. I think Rain, um, instead of being crushed like she was with her last litter when we lost a puppy, I think that right now she would just be much more like angry practical, like, okay. I have to take care of my little babies, have to keep them safe. All right, let's sit down and wait for these ones to follow us. This is so torturous when they're so slow. Oh my gosh. All right, come on, Aqua. We'll move you again. All right, there we go. Are we getting kind of close to where we need to go? Yes, we are. All right, those two are coming. So basically, we're gonna start heading for this food over here. And I think we're getting, we're getting a little bit past the old ox, but we just have to kind of cross our fingers with it. All right, I might want to feed them again really quickly before we leave this area and the food that it provides. So that might be something we do really quickly. They just get hungry so fast, you guys. All right, hang on, little ones. I'm going to feed you one last time from over here because we're going to be leaving this elk forever. And it's just close enough that I'm going to make the terrible risk of running over to it and hoping nothing happens to them. All right, hang in there, little ones, hang in there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is far enough that I'm like, oh, what if a coyote comes? But they really do seem to stick around like the dead. No, you weren't supposed to bring Autumn here. That's okay, Zephyr, you were just trying to help, I know. All right, let's get back to our babies. All right, almost there. There we go. All right, and we'll rest for just half a second. We should always keep moving though, even while we're resting. And then, let's see, gotta keep moving this way just a little bit. Because if we get too close to old oxbow, then the puppies will start glitching. There's just this weird thing where they'll start running in circles and you'll like lose the progress you made and it's horrible. It's so horrible. Zephyr, you're gonna be the one who's gonna have to really work hard on feeding our puppies, okay? Oh boy, you guys. All right. 
this is gonna be a very long journey, but the long journey is actually a huge part of why Rain was assigned to this as her ancestor challenge. And you guys picked the hard one. I warned you, you guys picked the absolute hardest one that we could have gotten from the list of dreams. And you guys picked Luna's dream. So the founder Luna, the founder of the moon pack, which is the ancestor pack of the Stormy Skies pack, had the dream of a journey of having to go the furthest place away from the den and having to bring the puppies there we go and having to really bring the puppies on quite the dangerous expedition but in a way where she hopes it would actually bring honor and strength back to the pack all right so we're going to come over this way we might have to start moving puppies again i really want them out of the tall grass all right let's see we're getting there can see food in the distance but if we're this far should we just keep going lone tree you know what we probably should keep going to the familiar path because we didn't kill any elk over here during winter and i don't think we're gonna have anything to scavenge at this time of year all right we should hopefully be far enough all right come on you guys all right i'm gonna grab autumn i'm gonna move her like right here we usually run till we're at about half strength and then we try to slow down and kind of let the puppies follow us. All right, and we'll sort of follow along the river, not quite completely along the river. I see food in the distance. All right, come on, little ones. Oh, they're making it. And I'm gonna have to just be really strict on when to feed them. Look at Zephyr. We really have made excellent progress today, even if it feels like this is just going to be like a terrifically long journey. We'll have to very carefully portion out the food we give the babies. And just really, really hope... Oh my gosh. It begins, Coyote. It begins. It begins. Oh my gosh. Alright, Zephyr, don't you dare bring a baby over to me right now, please. Okay, and get back to the babies. Dang it, he's carrying rainbow! All right, over here. Is he going to feed Rainbow? I think he's feeding her. Oh, and we took that coyote out. So it begins, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. But Zephyr is thankfully feeding the babies. So we're just really going to have to rely on him to hopefully be able to feed them. And just have to keep waiting on our end till the very last second to feed the puppies. Because otherwise I think that they will try to eat way too much. All right, are we safely away from the old oxbow? I think we are. So we're just going to have to keep moving towards that glowing food in the distance where we know it's safe to cross with the puppies. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 lucky rabbit's foot, lucky rabbit's foot. Oh, this is such a bounty. Oh my goodness, such bounty. All right, who's hungriest? I think it is actually Rainbow, so I'm going to feed her. There we go. And then I can fill up on the hair carcass here. Come on, eat the hair carcass. We have a lucky rabbit's foot for a reason. Oh, fudge the knuckles. All right, there we go. Filled up on that. And an eagle thinks it's going to come along and eat our babies, and that is not the case. Uh-uh. Get out of here. All right, there we go. Phew. All right, so coyote and eagle chased away today. Lucky rabbit just discovered, so it gave us a little bit of extra food. Even one mouthful. There's another one. Oh my gosh, are we at like a lucky rabbit spot? No way! This is fantastic! Okay, come here, children. Um, I think Autumn is now the hungriest. Oh, this is glorious! In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and risk feeding Rainbow too, a little bit, and then Aqua a little bit, because I think that the rabbit gives me a, more than one mouthful, but not much more. All right, come on, eat it. Eat it. Yes, just a little bit more. Okay, good. Wow, how cool is that? That is so needed too, so I'm very happy. Turning around to watch the puppy is actually super helpful. Because <laughs> you never know what you might find. Oh, so two lucky rabbit's foots. I don't know guys, I have to say, that's making me feel pretty good about this journey. Even though I'm really nervous about the puppies starving to death on us. Because we've already ran into a couple pieces of luck. Okay, all right, all right, all right, where are you? Okay, whip over here. And here's the coyote. Don't bring me the puppy, don't bring me the puppy, don't bring me the puppy, Zephyr. Okay, good. Okay, where are the puppies? Aqua, Rainbow, Autumn. There we go. 
All right, yeah, we've already run into a couple good pieces of luck when it comes to our puppies. All right, here's somebody who's gonna try to eat them again. Another eagle. He's feeding Rainbow. All right, get out of here, eagle. There we go. All right, he's feeding them, and we're just gonna continue moving in this direction. Oh boy, if we're lucky, we might be able to do a little bit of hunting too. All right, come along, little ones, come along. There we go. So I think Rain, with like, honestly, I think she's doing really well on this journey. We've managed to take out a few um, lucky rabbits. We've managed to get the puppies this far. For Rain, even if we're not 100% successful with the puppies we have left, so I guess that would be 75% successful, oh dear. I think that this is definitely a journey where she can at least know she did her best and kind of redeem her feelings of guilt. And maybe that's what her great grandmother Luna knew she would need. Again, projecting some human emotions and stories onto our wolves. I always have to use that as a little disclaimer because it would be a huge disservice not to respect the wolves as the wild animals they are. But with our stories as complex as they are, maybe great grandmother Luna knew that was that for getting some food? Oh, that would be so cool if he was getting some food. Maybe she knew that like Rain would need to really feel like she had a challenge in her life in order to take good care of her puppies, to really feel like she did her best and she tried to be strong for the pack and to take care of them. And I think she's doing a pretty good job of being strong. All right, here's another eagle coming for Autumn. All right, come here, little ones, come here. Are you gonna land, Eagle? I'm on you. All right, there we go. Chase the Eagle away. It's gonna be time to feed the babies pretty soon, but Zephyr is on the move for the food that is over there. So we just need to keep moving. Oh, there you go. Nope, 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 nope. I heard the pitter-patter of those dangerous little footsteps. I am so on this. All right, come on. Is that on this side of the river? Go, Zephyr, go! All right, well, let's work our way over to that then. So we're gonna work our way down to the carcass that Zephyr is headed towards, and so far, so good with the puppies. Now it's just a matter of hopefully there being enough food that they won't starve to death as we get just over to the summer hunting ground. So, ooh, that's gonna be the exciting part, you guys. But all right, I will see you guys next time as we continue to follow the adventures of what's going on in the Moon Pack, who is also playing on the Bring It On level. And then we'll come back and we'll see how Rain and Zephyr and her three little puppies are doing. So until then, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.